alive to get to this place. Now, this place was built around the early 1900s. It was owned by a family. Uh, the couple were big into the law. Uh, I believe they were both lawyers, and that's how they made their millions. They were very, very wealthy. It was then during World War II when this place was occupied by the military forces of Italy and Germany. From then on, it would be a campground for them. And until the end of World War II, the owners came back and re-renovated this place and turned it into a hotel and a restaurant. And this would last from the 1960s all the way to the 1990s, where eventually they would turn this place back into their home. Uh, fortunately though, that only lasted for about eight years until they had to abandon the place. Due to, I think, decay, they didn't have enough funds and money to maintain the property. And sadly, they just had to leave it abandoned. So that's some history of the place. Other than that, I'm quite excited to explore around because there's so many amazing looking rooms that's just so great to see and for photos. So we're gonna be taking a lot today. I'll take you guys along with me. But before that, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. take you guys to some of the surrounding rooms. These were quite smaller. They could have been bedrooms. <clears throat> and the reason why I think so is because there's always a bathroom. And over here we have a huge mirror wall. And on is just the names of so many urban explorers. And we just went around a loop. This is where I did my intro. We can definitely check the upstairs though really quick. And honestly, these floors don't have a lot. We have to be very careful though. It's strange how most of the rooms have a random bathtub in it. Holes on the floor. Alright, guys, so I just had to quickly check upstairs. There's nothing much at all, they're just a bunch of empty rooms, and it's really, really dusty, and it's quite dangerous too up there. I saw a little bit of holes on some of the floors. Um, I think we're going to be heading downstairs though because there's another room that's really, really gorgeous. Alright, so I just made it to the very bottom floor and apparently there's a mini catacomb in here. So we're going to be checking it out. Even says it right there. Catacomb? Diria Zilvia. And look at that entrance. You have a little fountain here where you can get water. Okay, here we go. I wonder how deep this goes. Oh, this is it. I think that'd be a lot longer than this. It's nice and cold. You can probably get some nice fresh cold water right here. Oh, and there's still some. But yeah, it's probably really dirty now. So at the moment, we just came out from that door right there. That was where the catacombs was. And it looks like we just made it to some sort of hall. Could have been near the entrance. This fireplace is one unique one though. And there's a symbol on it. Could mean something. But yeah, this room is also gorgeous. The ceiling looks incredible and the pillars are really, really unique. I've never seen anything like it. 
That brick wall right there must have been like the entrance. It could have been a door. This could have been it right here. And it would lead outside to the garden. This room was the ballroom. You can just imagine the party things that go on here or the celebration of family members and friends. Let's take a look around closer. We have to see a close up of this. I've never seen a fireplace this big ever in my life. And look at the statues right on it. It's something out of like a fantasy movie. And I bet there used to be a giant mirror right there. Here was the entrance. You had two statues looking over the place. They have something like this in Japan where the two statues would be the guardians. So these could be the guardians of the room. Oh, and there's a face just right there in the middle. Oh yeah, absolutely stunning. What's going on guys? Thank you so much for making it this far to the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. It was by far one of the most amazing abandoned mansions I've ever explored. And it just felt like I was out of this world, out of this reality, uh, the past couple hours exploring the place. And I'm just so happy to have filmed it and got some photos to show you guys and kind of experience it a little bit with me. By the way, um, if you haven't watched the previous video, go check it out right now because you will know that I'm in Tokyo and I want to show you guys my room really quick. Yeah. Uh, did some laundry. There's the washer right there. And I'm just drying my clothes right now. Yeah, Tokyo rooms are super small, but I got this for a good deal. I'm almost done editing all of the videos from the Italy series. Here are the files right here. This is the grand ballroom that we just watched, but we have one, two, three, and then Spain vacation, four, five, and flying back home, six videos to still upload. And thankfully, after that, there's gonna be new series. The Chernobyl series will drop, the Hungary series will drop, the Japan series will drop, and tomorrow I leave for a crazy trip, and hopefully I have an announcement video pretty soon on that. Anyway, I'm going to end the video now. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Leave your comments and thoughts down below and share the video. And guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom and wander. And I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace.